Hello, today I'm going to redo my pink. Um, I've tried a few different colours to see how well they last, so I'm trying to sort of do a, a catalogue of colours to see which ones last the best and which colours I like the best. So this was actually Pinkissimo uh, by Rembo, crazy colour. Uh, it's about three shampoos old now and it's faded quite quickly but I don't mind because at least with crazy colours, if you know they're going to wash out quick, you can experiment and try different looks. And then I find that Pravana lasts a lot better. But I'm going to do a new mix of Wild Orchid and Magenta. And we'll see how that colour comes out and how well it lasts. So I'm just going to go and damp my hair now before sectioning it up. So I'm using largely magenta, the paler pink, and mixing in a little bit of wild orchid, just to give it a bit more of a magenta look. So oh, that's the colour in, so I'm going to leave it um, for 30 minutes to process. Right, that's my 30 minutes up, um, so time to go and shampoo I think. Oh, I'm just doing my bit for Movember. Uh, in truth, I don't need to pencil it in. Kids, once you get over 40, you'll find that wax will become your best friend. Right, so I've washed it and shampooed, conditioned it, and this is the result. It's quite a bit more vibrant than I thought. It's um, largely magenta with just a little bit of wild orchid. So that was the Pravana Chroma Silk Vivids. Um, I bleached my hair. Ooh, probably about three weeks ago and topped it up with crazy colour and thought I'd go for the Pravana just to see how long it will, well what the colour will come out like and also um, how long it will last. Um, there's another range I want to try called Elumin, I think it's Elumin by Goldwell. Um, but I'm going to give this a week, see what happens, and then maybe top up with something else if it comes out quickly. We'll see. If it lasts a few weeks, brilliant. Um, but we'll see. I just want to try out all these pink colours. So that was yesterday and now I'm just going to run through a few colours that I have used just trying to find the pink that I like. Um, these are crazy colours, um, they're Stargazer and a couple of other shades of Pravana and I think there's a Revlon one. Um, and as I say in the future I'm looking out to find a Goldwell colour which I'm going to try which apparently has a lock in and holds it really well. So I'll just voice over the stills that I have now um, of the colours that I have used up until now. Um, to find my favourite pink. I thought I'd try a pastel pink, so baby pink from Stargazer. I bought this at Salon International and I wasn't happy with the results. Um, very patchy, 
just not a good look, didn't last. Uh, vivid colours may be better, but um, I went on to crazy colour. Candy Floss in their pastel pink, and the colour was better, much more colour. Um, again, I'd have to probably did it every other shampoo. It didn't last very long, um, but basically it's a colour conditioner, so it's no effort, and I don't have to do my whole head. It's just one section so I like that but then I thought oh, I'm going to go for a bolder colour so I thought I'll try their Pinkissimo and this is a lovely vibrant pink really like this last about three shampoos stuck to a sulfate free shampoo to keep the colour strong after one shampoo you can see it's faded slightly but gives an ombre look quite liked it now Revlon purple red this is a coloured conditioner one of the first colours I used I used to just have a blonde stripe through my hair first this I really like, beautiful colour and would last about four or five shampoos. Good colour, really like this. But one of my favourites is by Pravana and it's called Wild Orchid. And it's quite a deep purpley pink really. Um, you can see it in my Glasgow um, vlog. Really love the colour. I dyed the rest of my hair, or tinted the rest of my hair a really dark brown. I didn't quite like that, it looked a bit too wiggy. So um, I let it lighten up and um, I keep it now a lighter brown. Um, still a dark brown but more of a chocolate brown. So there's a review of the few of the pinks I've used and hopefully there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching.